Hi, I'm Matt, this is my brother Johnny, and today we're going to show you how to make this fold-away router table. So as you can see, we're pretty jam-packed in here, so we want to come up with a simple solution, and now we had a router table when we really needed one, but we could also fold it away when we're finished. Here's how we made it. Right, so first things first, we had to clean up the end of our workbench. When we made this, we made it out of pallet wood. Never really worked on the end properly, so it was kind of gross. So we took our track saw, took one little cut, and that tidied up really nicely. So we're using some spare 18 mm birch plywood we had lying around. Just took that to the, over to the table saw to trim it down, and then we found the same round over bit that we used for the, for the workbench itself, just so we could mimic those sides. It was really important to us that we had the maximum router depth possible. We didn't want to have any extra long bits or anything like that. So we actually took the base plate off our router, we traced it onto the underside of the 18 mm birch ply, and then we took a 10 mm router bit and routed it down. That would just give us that extra bit of cutting depth. Snug as a bug. We center punched and pilot drilled all the way through to the under the, the top side of the router table, and that way we could find where all the center of the holes were going to be. So here's a little trick that we use when we're trying to cut down cut down bolts. So basically, we'll thread the nut onto the bolt first before we cut it down. We'll round those edges over on a, on a belt grinder, we're using a file, and then when you unscrew the nut, it avoids uh, sort of a cross threading. So it's then over to our trusty drawer of hinges, and we managed to find these four brass little bad boys that work perfectly. <laughs> I can't not say bad boys, I have to say bad boys. Drops bad boys. So we drilled some pilot holes, we secured these to the underside of the uh, router table. We made sure that they were nice and flush by just butting up a bit of scrap wood, and therefore we knew that it was ready to be installed on the work table. We used some scrap wood to make sure that the top was flush with the top of our workbench and that way we could pre-drill and screw in the hinges onto the underside of the workbench. So that's the table side of the build done, so now it's just time to sort out the actual legs. So we sort of deliberated over different ways that we could actually hold it in place and we just wanted something as simple as possible basically because there were plenty of different sort of options we had but we knew a lot of the time if it's too complicated it's never going to use it. We cut some 45s on the end of these legs, we also cut 45s on a couple of spare blocks um, and you'll see what this plywood does in a minute but we actually glued that onto one side of each of the blocks using the CA and wood glue trick. You actually use CA glue as the clamp and then the wood glue gives it a bit of strength. Effectively, all they do is kind of stop the legs falling out when they're in place. They're only on one side, and you'll see why in a minute. It was important that we uh, counterboard these and draw a little bit of a larger hole for the screw thread to sit a little bit deeper. Uh, that way it was going to bite into the table leg a little bit easier. We then pilot hold that in and used a kind of two inch screw just to make sure it was a really rock solid joint on that table. When it came to installing, you'll see that we put in all the blocks, um, two on the actual legs of the workbench themselves and two on the other side of the router table. So now you can see the function of those little bits of plywood sit on the edge of the blocks, so it stops the legs actually falling inwards. So basically to stop it falling outwards, we came up with a different technique, which was to use bungees, which would then sort of hold them in place when it was vanilla stretched. We used a pair of bolt cutters to get the hook off the end of the bungee, which I think we both say was absolutely horrible. Mm -hmm. Nightmare. <laughs> Hardest part of the whole thing. <laughs> but we still wanted to make sure the bungees weren't going to pull through the wood when they were obviously stretched. So we used a little bit of a steel bar, routed a little groove to sit it flush into the outside of the wood, and that way it stops it pulling all the way through. So here you can see it being used. 
Uh, the main, like we said, the main thing we want from this is to be able to put it up in seconds, so it's really easy to use. So the last thing to do is to bolt the router to the underside of the table using those bolts that we cut down earlier. You also wanted to add a different way of switching the router on and off instead of reaching underneath and having to pull that trigger, which would be really awkward. So we use the switched extension cable, plug the router into that. The trigger of the router is zip tied closed all the time. So the actual on and off function is actually routed through this extension cable. So there you go, that's the finished piece. Uh, there's a few more things we would like to do to this. So we really want to add a fence onto it. For now, we can just clamp on a straight bit of wood and that works perfectly. But realistically, we want to have something a bit more permanent. We're really glad that we put it on the end of our workbench because we can use the workbench as an infeed or an outfeed table and it supports those long pieces of work. Really happy that you can so easily put this up and down and also we added a bungee cord to keep it tight so it doesn't kind of swing out when you're turning the workbench around or anything like that. As always, thanks a lot for watching, guys. If you enjoyed what you saw, we'd love it if you could like and subscribe. Also, if you're on Instagram, check us out. We post behind the scenes stuff all the time so you can see the content that comes out before it's in the video. We're at Brothers Make. We'll pop a link in the description. Cheers, thanks, guys. And it's really easy to pack up, put down. Don't think we're ever going to get bored of doing that. Why would I say that? <laughs> uh, the last thing we did was add a couple of eyelets and a bit of budgie to secure the actual... <laughs> And I don't think we're ever going to get bored of <laughs> What could be fun <laughs> I think it's safe to say that's the funnest thing imaginable. <laughs>